How's it going YouTube? Avalyn Frost here and apparently a lot of people don't know how to download or install Dev Pro. So we're going to go over that today and with me we have Yusha Steve. Uh, he hello guys, I'm Yusha Steve. Alright, so first of all for Dev Pro, you want to open your web browser, whatever you're using, probably not Internet Explorer, and type in Dev Pro. And the first thing that will pop up is YGO Pro Dev Pro English under the uh, URL ygopro.de because this is a German website. But it's not in German, it's in English. I promise. It's in English. It's positively in English. That's what the EN is for. <laughs> um, so when you get to the main page, immediately you might want you might have to scroll down a little bit but it'll be right there under the downloads title mirror one two or three uh, we usually use one so you just click on mirror one and then hopefully you also have ad blocker so any ads that pop up it will just get disregarded so all you uh, have to no, focus my ad blocker didn't help me. <laughs> mine does uh <laughs> so you have here media fire You'll get this caption thing you have to do, which an ad just popped up, just like yours. Close that. Go type in whatever it says. Adopted. Then you hit this red button that says authorized download. And then you'll go onto this side where now you can download it by hitting this green button that says download. And another ad popped up. Get rid of that. Okay, so once this part up, uh, Go to your download or wherever you save it and save it. And now we wait until it finished downloading. All right, now that you're uh, finished downloading your file, you can open wherever, whatever folder you are uh, downloading it, download it at. Uh, try to find a place where you want to keep it at. Um, mine is in the document folders. Or but that doesn't really matter. Once you get it, you're gonna right click it or however you extract it. I use uh, 7-zip, so I'm just gonna go to extract here. And now we wait till we finish extracting. All right, guys, once it finished extracting, you'll have this folder right here, YGO Pro Dev Pro, wherever you want it to be, of course. So let's open that up. And then here's the files for how the game runs. You definitely don't want to edit them. And then uh, right here, this one, Dev Pro, the application, the one with the little ring and circle. That is how you're going to run Dev Pro. So just double click that. So once you double click it, this is what's going to pop up. Now, the first thing you want to do is hit the register button. Create your username, password, confirm your password, your email, confirm your email, and then register. Then you can't, you still can't log in. You would have to validate. Uh, so put in the username you created, your email, and then hit the reset button just to confirm, or you know, or get a double email, whatever, of a code. Once you get that code, you enter the code and submit it. And then your account will be validated, and you'll be able to log in. On the meantime, while you're waiting uh, for that email to come in, you can hit the deck edit to start making your deck because you can do that. This is my UA deck. And the way uh, this works, uh, right here where my mouse is at, is a list of all the decks you've created. I have tons. And right here, you can type in the name of the new deck you wanted to make. Um, deck ideas. Either. Um, hold on, let me think. And though, good job. Uh, and you know, I was you have say, I, was, I was gonna say Zephyr, but okay. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, hit clear. And it, it's not gonna automatically save, of course. You just wanna clear it so your new deck doesn't have all those cards. And then hit save as. Not save, save as. And then over here to the right, top right. You can search category, monster spell, trap cards, uh, once you choose one of those. A subcategory, fusions, XYZs, uh, quick play spells, counter traps, whatever, attributes. Obviously traps and spells don't have attributes, or types, or ranks. Are you sure? 
positive. They have spell attribute. Hey, they have a set. I didn't know they had a set here. They have yeah, arch no. yeah, they have arch They're types. Forever, dude. dude, never knew that. The more you know. Uh, you have the limit here. Is it banned? Not banned? Only anime? I didn't know they had anime cards either. Which they don't. They used to have anime cards. They used to have anime cards. Uh, search for specific specific attack, defense, and then you can choose, you know, maybe you don't know what you're actually looking for or what it's called, why can't I move this around? Uh, you know, like, oh, maybe I need a trap card that searches, or a spell card that lets me draw, or a monster that special summons, in any way possible, you can do that. And then, you know, actually just search for your card, and Dell. The Gladiator Beast. Fucking amazing card, man. So broke. So fucking broke. And that's the basics of it. And then, when you actually finish editing it, you then hit save. Now, well, once you do get your account validated, va va violated, validated, you log in. In here, uh, you hit search. Let's get rid of these first. You hit search, and you can have people that are hosting. Unranked, of course. Uh, when it has a question mark, it means that no one is. Hey, look, somebody's hosting rank. When it has the question marks, it means no one's actually joined their lobby. So you can double click it and join them. Um, you choose your deck up here. Checkmate servers. A whole completely different thing. Format you want to choose. Game types. Uh, ban list. Time. Specific list. It will be difficult to find a match specifically what you're looking for, unless you have someone you know hosting it already. Uh, illegal game types, active game types, games are already in progress. Use your filter so you can specifically look for someone. Uh, let's see, like this first one, dedication. Type in dedication, then hit search, and then he will be the only one that pops up. Uh, minimum elo, maximum elo in case you're specifically looking for someone that's good at the game and not just random people. You can host yourself and set up your own parameters of how the duel is going to go. Uh, and then you can also join rank games to so increase your elo. There's the chat beta here. Uh, hit the channel list, join one of the channels. Let's go to the English channel, join. This is for English people. Hopefully you're English. That's rooted here. <laughs> what if you had a non-English fan base? They're gonna unsubscribe to you now. I know, right? But it, it, if you're not English, then that's fine. There's the German, French, Asian. There's no one in the Asian channel. Let's join the Asian channel. Racist. There's literally no one on the Asian channel. Are you sure about that? Um, I'm. Well, now there's one person because I'm in it. That's all that matters. Uh, I believe you can. Bam. Two people. <laughs> dude, dude, he's here. Yeah. Photo, uh, I, I'm, I'm video bombing your video. <laughs> like you photo bombing, but you know. Video bombing? Yeah. Uh, or you can create your own channel to have like team, team Digimon chat, team Digimon recruitment, Dev Pro Indonesia. Uh, yeah. And then uh, you can hit one of the tabs up here for user list, hit Use your search, find someone, let's say Yusha Steve. He pops up here, you can right click him. You can request duel, view his profile, and see how bad, good he is. Uh, you can spectate whatever duel he's in, or you can add him to friends. I already have him as a friend, uh, so then you can also hit the friends button down here. And I missed, somehow. And it shows all the people that you're friends with. And it'll show if they're online or offline. Now, this one specific one, Deathbot, you can, uh, he's uh, the system, automated system that they made, so in case you want to test out the deck, but you didn't want to play against an actual person, and you know, someone who's extremely scrubby, Deathbot, man, Deathbot. <laughs> Deathbot. <laughs> Deathbot. Uh, so just, you know, user search, search Deathbot, add him as a friend, and then just duel him. He does millions of duels. Let's look at his profile right now. See, use your death prot. No team. Level 1. Uh, ranked singles. 12,649. Because he hasn't ranked at all. But look at his unranked, man. 62,000 wins. 
Let's not look at his losses of 277,000 losses. Rage quit. <laughs> Death Prot. <laughs> Death Prot. Death Bot. <laughs> I'm giving him new names all the time. Uh, Death Bot has won 146,000 games because people have quit on him. That's actually kind of funny. Kind of is. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all you need to know about Death Pro. Hopefully, you're able to download it and have fun with us. See you later, guys.